Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In previous video, we have created uh, this setting page. In this video, we are going to learn about implementation of uh, this setting page. Okay, so let's see how can we implement uh, these settings. So first of all, let's create a new live wire component uh, for this portal. Okay, so switch to the command prompt and uh, for creating the new live wire component, uh, just type here the command php artisan make colon live wire a space component name component name is footer component all right now press enter component created now run the application php artisan serve all right now switch to the project and let's open the layout file so just go inside the resources directory then views, uh, layouts, and from here just open base.blade.php file. Inside this file, uh, let's find the footer. Okay, so you can see here this is the footer. Okay, now select this, select this footer, and cut this. Okay, now let's open the footer component uh, view file. So uh, from LiveWire. Uh, directory uh, let's open this one footer dash component dot uh, blade dot php file and uh, just remove this and paste here okay now save this now inside the uh, layout file uh, let's render here footer component okay so for that just write here at the rate live wire okay and inside this just pass here the footer name uh, component name which is footer dash component all right now save this okay now let's open the footer component class file so just go inside the app directory then http livewire and from here uh, let's open the footer component.php file okay this class file and inside the render method uh, let's page here setting so dollar setting is equal to model name setting colon colon find and pass here the id one okay now uh, let's pass uh, this setting to the view file so inside the uh, return statement uh, here just write big bracket setting arrow dollar setting right now save this now go to the footer component uh, view file and uh, let's find the email id and phone number okay this is the phone number email id and address okay and for showing the address just remove this and add a double curly bracket then dollar setting arrow address okay and for the phone number Remove this double curly bracket setting phone okay and for email id double curly bracket setting uh, email right okay for showing the another phone number just remove this and right here setting arrow phone to dollar setting okay phone to and for social media link uh, okay this these are the links of social media okay for twitter twitter just right here inside the href double curly bracket uh, let's make multiple selections so press alt plus shift and drag okay now just write here double curly bracket dollar setting arrow twitter okay now for facebook only change here the column name facebook here pinterest instagram and here youtube okay and also change here the font awesome icon here fa dash 
okay then change the title all right now save this and now let's check this so switch to the browser and uh, this is the footer okay and this these are the static content and if i refresh the page now you can see here the dynamic content okay all right now uh, go to the contact page contact us page and uh, inside this page also make things dynamic uh, email id phone number and address okay and also make dynamic this uh, map all right so switch to the project and go to the contact uh, component class file so from app directory http livewire and from here just open contact this one contact component.php file and inside the render method uh, let's create here setting dollar setting is equal to setting and fetch the record of id1 so right here find id1 okay and now let's pass this setting to the view so inside this is right here the bracket setting to dollar setting all right now save this now go to the contact uh, view file contact component view file so inside the resource directory views liveware and from here uh, let's open the contact dash component updated php file okay and you can see here these are the emails phones and address okay so let's select this email id and just add here double curly bracket dollar setting arrow email and for the phone number select this double curly bracket setting arrow phone and uh, for address dollar setting arrow phone uh, sorry address all right and also change here the text address Alright, now save this and let's check this. So switch to the browser and refresh the page. Now you can see here the email ID, phone number and address. Okay. Uh, for map, uh, let's go to the Google Map. So let's search here. Google Map. Click on first link. And here search your address. So I'm just going to write here Farida Bath Haryana India. Okay, and click on search. Alright, now click on share link, then embed a map and let's copy this HTML code. Okay, embed code copy and now switch to the project and uh, uh, here is the map code okay so i'm just going to remove remove this tip and paste here set here the width 100 percent and height 320 okay and uh, from here let's remove this src from this iframe okay cut this and inside this src just right here double curly bracket dollar setting arrow map okay now save this all right now inside the setting page uh, go to the setting page Here inside the map input text field, just paste here the SRC. Okay, uh, these codes are uh, so long, so uh, go to the PHP my admin local host PHP my admin and uh, 
let's open the database and browse the settings table click on a structure and you can see here the map uh, length is uh, wire care data type is the wire care and length is 255 okay let's modify this so click on change and here I'm just going to add here the size 500 okay now click on save okay now here on setting page uh, just click on save button settings has been saved successfully okay now go to the contact page and here you can see the map okay all right so in this way you can implement the settings so that's all about implementing settings so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching